Hey guys, it's Danny. Okay, time to make some updates on some orchids because you guys requested them. Now, if my voice sounds kind of funny, that's because I'm cold, so sorry about that, but there is a special group of people who get cold in the summertime. Oh well, so first, the Clymer Paphiopetalum. Do you remember this guy? Somebody asked me about it. If you missed that video, you can check it out in an info card right here. This was a pretty interesting case in which a Paphiopetalum produced a cakey or a new growth, rather, instead of a flower on a flower spike. So it kind of did a bit of surgery. Now this is the top part, the top plant. The mother orchid actually produced a basil cakey, although it's not a cakey, a basil growth that I divided as well and shared it with Ana Maria. And I'm not sure how that one is doing, so Anna, if you're watching, let us know how that one is doing. But this is the top one. He's okay, growing excruciatingly slow, as Paphiopetalums do. He's putting out a lot of leaves, though. And he is growing another new leaf right inside there, except this one. Not really sure when this one will bloom. He's trying to catch up. Suffered from some dehydration while moving, of course, because they do like high humidity. But he's pulling through, regaining some color in his leaves. But I have no idea what this Paphiopetalum is. Not sure. He doesn't look like a Maudie, so it's gonna be a surprise for both of us when and if he will bloom. Okay, the next ones you guys wanted to see are the Bulbophyllums. I currently have two left. This is the famous uh, Seropetalum, which is now called a Bulbophyllum, Elizabeth and Buckleberry. He skipped blooming this year, but I kind of understand his uh, reasoning. However, it is producing a brand new growth, which is developing quite nicely there. He is growing a few more roots. Luckily, these roots did not suffer all that much in the drought and transport and all of that. He's pulling through, but yeah, he didn't bloom which is a bummer because he has amazing, amazing blooms. And if you missed this guy, I do encourage you to watch the video. I'll add it in the info card right here. There are two videos in the info card. You can check it out. He has amazing blooms and I really hope maybe this new growth will bloom. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the other one. This is the Bulbophyllum barbigerum. He actually resides in the humidity room right now because he really disliked the move and everything lost two new growths not sure if it was depletion or rotting did not really look like rotting but yeah however i think he is trying to pull through he has a new growth sprouting uh, right there there we go but the roots have suffered i'm pretty sure they're not alive anymore so i decided to keep it in the humidity room with some synthetic as you can see his and water that's okay bubble films really do enjoy a lot of water and he's on top of the synthetic so no problems there not really sure how this guy will do he does not seem to be as hardy as the uh, elizabeth and buckleberry this guy is a hybrid that i highly highly recommend i never ever had issues with that guy he's very hardy however the barbigerum not so much I'm hoping I can rehabilitate him. Okay, next you want to see the Nobili dendrobiums. Now, I have to say, these will be tricky. So in my previous environment, I had pretty short summers compared to the summer I have here and pretty long winters. As a result, these guys were in bloom quite early in the spring and started new growth early in the spring. And as a consequence, they already finished maturing their new growths. So what do I do now? Do I give them a winter rest? Well, the winter rest is the middle of summer. So I decided to just keep watering them, especially because they're still adjusting. Uh, they lost a few roots in transport and, you know, all the story. Uh, so I decided to just keep watering them, even if they will not bloom this year, because I just want them to be healthy. And what's happening is, as you can see, let's take this one for example. Not all of them, but I suspect all of them will act this way in the end. So, let's take this one. That's a new growth right there. As you can see, pretty mangled, not so good looking. But yeah, considering everything, it's okay. However, that new growth is already producing a new growth. So what I guess is happening right now is that they will produce another set of new growths, which will mature until the end of summer here, beginning of autumn, which will be summer in October. And if they decide to bloom, it will be in late spring, I presume. So yeah, the Nobilies, I kind of expected it. They're getting adjusted to the new environment and probably they will take their time to acclimate. Right now, they just matured their new growths 
and what to do? There's no winter. Let's grow another set of growths. Okay, next the Renantheras. This is the Monachica. Um, she suffered from some fungal infections. I think they are. Anyway, I had her on a mount with sphagnum moss. The sphagnum moss got very bad. I think I made a video about this. I just don't remember right now. Anyway, I unmounted it, suffered from some root loss. I potted it. She's doing well, actually. And as you can see, the new leaf is kind of clean. So hopefully she will follow the example of the encyclia and get rid on her own of the infection and all of that. Oh, I think at some point she was in the orchid focus medium as well. I don't remember. Anyway, mistreatment. Anyway, she's growing roots. However, <laughs> look at that. So that root tip is burned. You might know my trouble with some root burns. Well, she was doing fine in the ceramis. Yes, ceramis does not kill roots. However, when she pops to the surface, presumably she touched that stuff from the fertilizer that was not dissolved and the root tip burned however she does have another root and i checked inside she's going through no root burn so that's good however yeah i'm guessing it's gonna take a while for this one to become healthy really curious to see if the new leaves will be clean and the philippinensis she's uh, separated from everybody else so what happened to this one she was doing okay and all of a sudden she started to lose leaves and i went mental particularly because i saw bumblebee's video about fusarium on vanda orchids and vendacious orchids and i went a little bit crazy however it's not fusarium or anything it's spider mites <laughs> no okay so let's see if i can give you a close-up here yeah i think it's visible we have spider mites here she is affected quite a lot and i'm not really sure why because others are not but she had a very bad infestation on the stem of spider mites so i'm guessing that's what's happening root wise though she's growing she does have quite a few new roots i see inside the pot this is one of them that's going down so she's yeah she's growing she's not diseased i don't believe she's diseased however she does have an infestation of spider mites it appears she's tasty i don't know so now I'm just, um, yeah, trying to treat the spider mite situation once again. I'll make a separate video about those. If I tell you that all of my new orchids except two had spider mites, will you be scared? I am a little, but yeah, we'll talk about it some other time. And a final update on my pleonies. Not sure if anybody requested this, but let's just update them because I think it's the last time we're going to see them. Yeah, pleonies are not doing okay, neither of them. So I'm guessing uh, this is not the right climate for them, although they both suffered when I didn't have my AC and temperatures went really high in the greenhouse. They didn't bounce back ever since, so yeah. I think the chapter of me and Pleonis is a bit over for now. I don't really know. I do love the Maculata. Maybe, just maybe I'll be brave enough and order one at some point and try it again. Try to be careful this time, because this year, let's just say, it was a bit of a bad luck with the move. I don't know, I try to be positive. Maybe we shall try with the Maculata again, because she's beautiful. Not sure about any other type of Pleonies. It's, uh, yeah, not a good climate. So really, I have doubts that they will flourish in my conditions. Well, you can't have them all, I guess. And I think somebody asked about the Ingracum, the Sescapidale that I had. Oh, well, he's doing amazingly fine. So this guy has a bad reputation that he does not like change, does not like to be disturbed, repotted and so on. But mine is just uh, totally oblivious to everything that's going on. As I was saying, this guy is pretty thirsty and he does require watering whenever the medium is dry or almost completely dry. But other than that, if I'm careful to water it, he's just really a joy to grow. He's producing new leaves, does not look dehydrated or anything, so with a bit of luck, maybe we're gonna have a bloom this winter from this guy. Cause it's supposed to have a beautiful fragrance during nighttime, and for some weird reason, I love ingracums. But I just <laughs> look at the pictures, I actually never saw one real life in bloom. So let's hope that we're gonna see some blooms. Other than that, he's looking healthy. I'm really happy with this guy. And that's about it for this update. Thank you for requesting. I hope I didn't forget anything. It's kind of hard to think with a fever. <laughs> anyway, if I missed anything or you'd like to see something else that I didn't show in a lot of time, just leave me a comment below and I'll make an update for you guys in my next requested updates video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more arcade videos from me and stay up to date, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a daily basis. Also, feel free to leave me any other questions or suggestions for videos if you have any in the comments section below i always check them and always feel free to send me a letter at the address you see on the screen or in the description below 
choose an option on the screen if you'd like to visit my website orchidnature.com or watch another orchid video. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!